Taurus, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. Hmm. Look at you. Looking good and independent. Ooh. There is... There is fire here for someone. There is fire ignited here. And it's not the past. You could be thinking, the past? Well, the past person? No, no, it's new. It's new. Okay. It's still nothing. And when I what I mean by that, it still hasn't happened or it still hasn't gone anywhere. Because I see that you are very much still single, independent, you do things your way, there is no partnership of some kind here. Um, but I see that your feelings or your passion has been ignited. There is fire. Fire in the hills. Not in the literal sense. Okay. Spirit is pushing you towards this person. Spirit is giving you these signals about this person. Maybe even putting thoughts in your head about this person. Let's see. Spirit is putting put, spirit is putting thoughts in your head about this person in a way where it's telling you, Taurus, it's not just a fuck, or it's like it's it's not just a flame, or it's not just um, like a nightstand, or like something that you would flirt with, spend time with, and that's it. It's more. It's more. Let's see. How more? It will move you from the Nine of Pentacles to the Emperor. And if you know something about tarot, this is like beautiful transformation. Um, the transformation in the sense where you become so much empowered that you're not only independent but in power you are the independent of all independency <laughs> or you are the independent of all the independent you will be the boss of the bosses this is because this passion this fire that's being ignited is the fire that you needed to become the boss of the bosses The moment you become the boss of the bosses, you'll be like, okay, so that's that. I'm done with that. What? I'm confused. Ah, uh, because you're confused. Look at this. Seven of Cups. You're confused, so you will end it because you don't want to... Ugh. So, Taurus, I see here that there is a person that you will be with or someone that will ignite some type of creativity in you, uh, the hunger, the ambition, or something of that sort that will push you towards bettering yourself, developing yourself, growing whatever that you're doing. But the moment you get to the point where you're like, I am the boss of the bosses now, for example, you'll be like, I don't need you anymore. And it's because you think that's, that's all there is to this person. 
maybe a confidence boost <coughs> or a rebound. But it seems to be you're wrong. Ouch. The wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is like the best thing that you can get. Like maybe this around, maybe being around this person is lucky or making you feel lucky or boosting your energy because this person is, is attracting blessings for you. This person is like... My head just went blank. This person is like... Um... <sighs> yeah, my thought just... <sighs> Let me see. Oh my god. Oh my god. The reason why you will cut this person out of your life, not because you mean to be mean or you mean to be dismissive or you mean to be practical in the sense where you need emotions, it's a give and take. Uh, energy right some some people see it that way and it's okay but this reading is telling you you're wrong and I mean telling a Taurus that they're wrong is probably a bad idea but here goes nothing you know so Taurus the energy shows me that this person is a blessing sent to you this is not a blessing that has an expiry day because this person will take you so far, further than you can imagine. The Wheel of Fortune and the fucking Chariot, this is like your lucky charm freaking person. <laughs> but you will be afraid. You will be afraid to keep this person for too long. Because you're afraid of your feelings growing for this person. You like to keep it practical, at least the Taurus in this reading anyway. You must have heavy earth energy in your chart for you to feel like that. But regardless, ugh, I'm feeling sick. No, I, no, I didn't barf, but I'm feeling like, ugh. I don't know what, what that is, to be honest with you. Yeah, okay, okay. You might not even believe me now, but you will feel sick once you realize the truth about this person. Because once you cut this person out, or once you cut this person out of your life, you'll be like, fuck. Because the absence of their energy will make you realize that your feelings are way stronger than you thought they were for them. And then you will attempt to communicate with them, reconcile or make amends with them. And you will unite. Uh, yeah, okay. So maybe you have to go through the lesson of cutting this person out of your life to realize that they are adding something to your life or that you have feelings for them. To recognize or get to know them properly or their worth to you properly. Because this is the type of connection that is soul contract the lovers you don't get the lovers card without it indicating that it's it's something i mean with the chariot and the wheel of fortune this connection is in the most cheesiest way meant to be 
And it doesn't matter if you cut them out or if they cut you out, you will still find each other. You will make rounds and rounds individually and separately and go back to put. This could possibly be a twin flame because that is the, the freaking meaning of twin flame. Hmm. So you need to know that this is your person. <laughs> because it, the way I see it, Taurus, is this is not the type of connection where, you know, lovey-dovey and that's it. There is growth involved. There is development involved. This is like, you know, when you get together with someone and f good things start to happen. It's because your un union is making your life better. When you are in alignment with your path, with the people that you're meant to be with, things move smoother. Hmm. Best of luck, Taurus. I will see you soon.